Hey, what's up, y'all? It's MC Yogi. This class is called Quick Fix. And in this fun, flowing class, we're gonna move through some postures to help realign the mind, brighten the shine, so we can get into a good feeling, a good mood. When you're ready, let's head to the mat and begin. Let's begin. Come to the top of your mat, bring the palms together in prayer, gazing toward the tips of the fingers. Take a moment to align the spine, thighs back, shoulders down, lengthening up through the crown. Nice deep breath, breathing with sound. Really soaking the breath in through your skin. Really establish that rhythm, that cadence. Feel it moving, opening, expanding the lungs, softening, relaxing, melting the mind. And then exhale, let the hands fall to your sides. And just shake out your wrists, feel your fingertips dripping into the floor. We're gonna interlace the fingers behind us. So thread the hands, we're gonna bring the hands over to the right side. Draw the elbows in, sitting up nice and tall, but slowly lower the right ear toward the right shoulder. See if you can soften your front ribs, lift your heart, and then combing the side of the neck. Nice deep breath. Stay connected to the earth, pressing into the feet, strong legs. And then when you're ready, exhale, release the arms. Take the opposite thumb on top. We'll hook the hands on the outside of the left hip and then let the head drop. Deep breath, combing the neck. Chest wide, heart high. Breathing with sound, soaking that steam into the muscles. Let's take one more. And then exhale, let the hands fall to the floor. Loop the shoulders a few times, give yourself a little massage. Nice job. Shake out the wrists, and we'll begin with some easy sun salutations. Palms together in prayer, no push-ups. Inhale, reach the arms up, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, fold in half. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, we're gonna step the right leg back, come into a high lunge. Get nice and low, it's okay to bend the back knee. Inhale, we're gonna take the arms up, one breath. And then exhale, let the hands fall to the mat. Step to the top, look up halfway, lean into it. And then exhale, bend as you bow, let the head drop. Inhale, rise up, deep breath in. Lift the heart toward the hands, get super tall. And then slide the hands to the heart, coming back to center. And we'll switch sides. Inhale to reach up. Deep breath. Exhale, fold in half, carving a path. Inhale, halfway. And then exhale, step the left leg back. Second side, get nice and low. Inhale, take the arms up. And then exhale, let the hands fall to the floor. Inhale, step up, look up halfway. And then exhale, bend as you bow, let the head drop. Now lift the chin, lead with the heart. Inhale, rise up. Get super tall, deep breath, and then exhale, pull the hands to the heart. We're gonna do that several times to get warm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in half, moving with your breath. Inhale, sweep the chest, look up halfway. Exhale, right leg steps back. Strong, bright legs. Inhale, arms go up. See if you can let the arms be empty as you reach up. And then exhale, land on your hands. Inhale, step to the top of your mat. Feel your feet, exhale, let the head drop. Inhale to rise up. Inhale, lift the heart, get super tall. And then we'll pull the hands down the center. Switching sides. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, empty at the bottom. Breathing all the way out. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, left leg steps back. High lunge, inhale, take the arms up. Strong, bright legs. Lift the heart toward the hands, and then exhale, land on your hands. Step to the top of the mat, look up halfway, lean forward, and then exhale, let the head fall like a coconut. Inhale, rise up, deep breath, lift the heart. Pull the hands down the center line. Let's do that just one more time. Inhale, getting into a nice rhythm. Really drink it in. Exhale, fold in half, let it pour out. Inhale, halfway. 
Exhale, step the right leg back. Inhale, arms go up. And then exhale, lower slow. Nice job. Inhale, step up. Look up halfway. And then exhale, let the head drop. Inhale, rise up, deep breath. Lift the heart a little higher. And then pull the hands to the heart, exhale, last time. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, halfway. Inhale, exhale, step the leg back. Take the arms up when you're ready. Deep breath. And then exhale, let it fall. Inhale, step to the top, look up halfway. And then exhale, let the head drop. Inhale, climb to standing, deep breath in. Take the arms a little higher as you press into your feet, get super tall. And then exhale, pull the hands to the heart. Gap the feet a little wider, about hip width. We're gonna bend in the knees and then fall into a forward bend. So we're gonna take the right hand to the middle of the mat, bending in the right leg. See if you can straighten the left leg. We're gonna turn, reach the left arm up, twist. Now if you like, you can slide that top arm behind you. Move the fingertips into the crease of the hip, root the shoulders. If you want a nice neck stretch here, you can drop the right ear toward the right shoulder. Or if you want to bind, you can thread the right arm along the inside of the thigh. Let's take two more. Deep breath, breathing into the chest. And then exhale, let it fall, let the head drop. Turn and we'll switch sides. Left hand to the middle of the mat, bend the left leg, turn, reach the right arm up. See if you can slide the shoulders away from the ears. If you're reaching up, make sure you can see that top thumb. If you want, you can tuck those fingers into the crease of the left thigh. Or if you want to bind, thread the arm along the inside of the thigh. Catching that right wrist. Let's take two more deep breaths. Three. Feel your feet, four, and then exhale, let the head fall to the floor. Inhale, we're gonna look up halfway. Exhale, step back and hover in our first high plank position. So level the torso with the floor, shoulders, hips, heels on the same plane. See if you can lift the entire rib cage up. Look a few inches in front of your hands, really wrap the muscles around the arms, bright, strong legs, deep breath. Three, four, and then right hand to your heart. See if you can lift your left foot up. It's a great way to get warm and get strong quickly. Some of us who are a little more advanced can lift both feet up. No. <laughs> and then switch. Now you don't have to lift that back foot. It's an option, but if you wanna lift opposite leg, to build some strength, really wrapping the midline, engaging the core, and then exhale, hands to the floor, lower slow with control, all the way down, push up. Now take the forearms to the floor, climb into a sphinx pose. So create a shelf with your forearms, big heavy hands, pull the earth, curling into the upper back, nice deep breath. Now if your back is healthy and you wanna go deeper, it's not for everyone, we can lift the elbows, Relax the shoulders, but make sure there's no pinching or biting in the low back. If that's too much, you can stay on your forearms. Let's take two deep breaths here, curling into the upper back. Three, four, and then exhale, land on your forearms. Five, we're gonna curl the toes, lift the hips, forearm plank. Now see if you can connect those front ribs, Strong legs, front body's lifting up. Pressing the earth, nice deep breath. Really soaking that steam in through the skin, breathing with sound, with feeling. Some of us can walk the feet a little closer toward the elbows. We want to build some more heat. As close to the elbows as you can. That's called a dolphin pose. If you want to get even stronger, you can lift one leg up. Keep breathing, following that thread. When you're ready, you can switch your legs. To 
This is a great preparation and setup for that peacock pose. If anybody wanted to kick into a forearm balance, otherwise we'll walk the feet back. Forearm plank, all the way onto your hips, sphinx pose. Pull the earth, lift the heart. Walk the hands back to where the elbows were. Without biting in the low back, keep the elbows bent low, cobra. See if you can lift the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, forehead to the floor. Press straight up, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Walking the hands all the way back to your feet. You're doing great. Take the feet a little wider, so they're about hips width. And then interlace the fingers behind you again. We'll clasp the hands, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Let the head drop. So feel your hair flowing down toward the ground. Soften your scalp. Relax your jaw. Teeth gap. Lips sealed. Let's take two more. Bending the elbows, dropping the arms. Releasing the boulders from our shoulders. And then when you're ready, exhale, let the arms fall. Bend the knees a little deeper. And if it feels good for your back, we can roll up. You can also climb up your legs or come up with a long spine. Once you get to standing, give yourself a little massage. Shake out your wrists. And then we'll take that walk all the way to the top. Finding your footprints again, palms together in prayer, coming back to the breath. Okay, so really sinking the mind into the posture. Feel the breath wrapping the body, wrapping the bones, creating a halo around the skull, breathing with sound, with feeling. And we're gonna move into the chair pose. Get nice and low, bend the knees. Inhale, take the arms up. And we'll count down, five, see how low you can go. Shins back, hips toward the heels, four. Deep breath. Three, two, and then exhale, fold forward one. Inhale, look up. Step back into that high plank position again. Hover in high plank, and let's move into side plank. Right hand to the middle of the mat. Turn, reach the left arm up. If you need to modify, you can drop the low knee down or cross your feet. Otherwise, left arm goes up, skull back, lift that right hip. And here's a nice way to make it easier with that top hand. Snap, snap, snap. Whenever we get a rhythm, it makes it easier to stay in the posture a little longer. Nice deep breath. Two more. And then exhale to the floor. Nice job, we'll turn and switch sides. Left hand down, right arm goes up. Remember you can modify if you need to. Snap. See if you can move your skull back. Deep breath. You're doing great. Three, four, and then exhale to the floor. Land on your hands, lower slow, push up. Chaturanga Dandasana. Curl into your cobra. Elbows bent, hips pressed, or upward dog, lifting the heart. And then we'll slide into down dog. And just take a moment to pause in downward facing dog. Put a little bend in your knees. See if you can slide your thighs back. Wrapping the shoulders away from the ears. And if you want to play with a deeper variation of down dog as an option, you can reach the right hand toward the left shin. Get a nice twist, turning the heart so it's shining through the arms. Breathe. If you need to, you can always rest in child's pose or take a few cat stretches. When you're ready to switch sides, Left hand back, catching the right shin. It's okay to bend the knees. Modify in any way you need to. You're doing great. Deep breath. Three, four, and then hands forward, lean forward, high plank position. Exhale all the way to the earth, coming to a full prostration. So we'll extend the arms forward, making some room so that we can soften and place the body on the earth. Let the bones be heavy. Soften, relax the skin. Okay, let the blood be soft like water. How quickly can we slow down? Falling into the breath. 
Let's take two more. Relaxing, massaging, calming the nervous system. And then when you're ready, we'll climb back into that Sphinx pose, climbing onto the forearms. And let's move into an easy side stretch. We'll take the right hand toward the left elbow, roll onto the right hip. If you want to go deeper, you can step that left foot in front of the right thigh. Deeper still, you can press the right hand into the floor. You can use that top knee as an armrest. And then lift up through the crown, through the heart, really spreading the ribs along the right side of the waist. Deep breath. Can you feel the heart rising inside the chest? Three. Two. And then we're gonna complement this pose by stepping into the left foot. Lift the left arm and reach it over your ear. Stretching across the left side of the waist. Nice deep breath. Three. Two. And then exhale, lower slow. Take your time. The lower back onto our hips, back onto our forearms. And we'll switch sides. So left hand toward the right elbow will roll onto the left hip. You can step that right foot in front of the thigh. You can straighten that left arm if you want to go deeper. If your back ever feels a little tight, you can always stack the legs, bend the knees. Make it a little easier. Okay, otherwise, resting that top arm, top of the right knee, lift the heart, nice deep breath. Breathing through those ribs. Breathing through the web and the mesh that holds the ribs together. Let's take two more. And then when you're ready, we're gonna press into that left hand, lift the left hip, right arm reaches up and over, bending. See if you can move your skull back, nice deep breath. Three, four, and then exhale all the way to the floor. Landing on your belly, curl into your cobra upward dog. We'll lift the heart through the arms, shoulders away from ears. Slide back downward facing dog. Now move through just a few easy standing postures. Take the right leg up behind you. Build some strength, we'll draw the knee to the nose, exhale. Shoulders over wrists, lean forward, round. Kick back, inhale. Let's do that two more times. If you wanna cross knee to opposite elbow or knee to nose, exhale. Kick back, inhale. Knee to same elbow or seat to knee to nose. Kick back. And then big step. Let's climb into that high lunge, inhale, take the arms up. Back heel can be off the floor. Reach up, and then when you're ready, we're gonna spin that back heel down, open wide, warrior two. Get nice and low. See if you can track that front knee in line with the second toe. Now take a few beats here, nice deep breath to drop the shoulders, reach wide, across the tops of the arms. Okay, really wrapping the bones, soft skin, deep breath. Three, four, and then when you're ready, we're gonna reverse it. Reach up and back. Exhale, side angle pose. Forearm to the thigh, we'll reach the left arm across the sky. You can rest your forearm on your right leg or you can take the right hand to the earth, whatever feels good for you. See if you can turn the ribs open. A nice deep breath, breathing with sound. Stay connected to the breath. Feel how the breath connects the mind to the body. Really light up the bones. Let's take two more. Four. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Spin the back heel up. Keep the left hand down, turn, reach the right arm into the sky, twist. Shoulders away from ears. A nice deep breath, three.
two. And then exhale, hands to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. If you want to add a push up here, you can cycle through that transition, moving through the vinyasa. Or you can pause and down dog, take a moment to smooth out the breath. And when you're ready, we'll switch sides. Left leg comes up. Draw the knee to the nose, exhale, shoulders over wrists. Kick back, inhale, knee to nose or knee to opposite elbow. Building some strength. Kick back, knee to nose or knee to same elbow. Kick back, inhale, big step when you're ready. We'll climb into that high crescent lunge, kicking the back heel up. Inhale, take the arms high. See if you can sink the hips as you lift the heart into the sky. And then we're gonna spin, pivot that back heel down, get nice and low, warrior two. Bending in the front knee, drop the shoulders, reach wide. A few deep breaths here to strengthen and tone. See if you can soften the ribs, lift the heart. Tracking that front knee toward the second toe. Three, two, a nice job. Inhale, reverse it. Deep breath. Exhale, side angle pose. Forearm to thigh, right arm reaches across the sky. If you wanted to go deeper, you can always take the left hand to the floor. And then really light up that line, running through the right side. Two more deep breaths. Three. I know down deep you really want to snap. It's hard to resist. Makes everything easier. You got to beat three, four, and then exhale, hands to the floor, spin the back heel up, twist. Last pose on this side. To ring out the lungs, draw the belly in. As the front thigh moves down, down, see if you can lift the back thigh up. Snap. Nice deep breath, three, four, and then exhale, hands to the floor, step back, high plank, slow push up. Remember you can practice that low cobra to protect the spine, or upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Great, lower to the knees and downward facing dog, and just take a few of those easy cat stretches. Feel that good circulation. Setting those waves washing up and down the midline. Feel your hands. And see if you can hollow your belly, hollow your head as you exhale. Pressing your hands through the mat. Let's take two more deep breaths. Three. Four. And then return to a flat back. Reach the right arm out to the side. If you can reach the person next to you, pat them on the back, tell them, good job. You're doing great. Keep going. And then we'll thread the right arm through, ear to the earth, hips over knees, long spine. And let your head rest. So the head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. We want to place that weight on the earth. And we can imagine the brain is like a fist unclenching. Let it become open and soft. Receptive like a palm, really feeling the breath moving through the folds of the brain. Let's take two more. And then slowly, slowly, we'll slide back up. If you like, you can give yourself a little massage, flossing the shoulders, and then we'll switch sides. Left arm out to the side, good job, buddy. Good work. And then exhale, we'll thread ear to the earth, hips over knees. See if you can soften the helmet of the scalp, gapping the teeth so the jaw is soft. And then big exhale to decompress, almost like wringing out the brain. Soaking that steam into the folds. Really wrapping the head in that sound. Let it echo inside the mind.
And then when you're ready, slowly, slowly, take all the time you need, there's no rush. We're gonna climb onto all fours, you can give yourself a little massage. If you wanna give your wrists a little love, we can spin the fingers back. You can also curl the toes under. And just sending some deep breaths into the joints. Okay, really watering the body with the breath. Soaking it in through the fabric of the skin, breathing into the fiber of the muscles, into the bones. So a couple ways to stretch into your wrist. So thumbs out, fingers back is one way. Another way is knuckles down, thumbs in. So you can kind of feel it out, make sure it feels good for you. Just giving some love to the wrist after those push-ups. It's good if you do a lot of texting. And then when you're ready, let's cross the shins, sit back, lie down. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug, we'll lie flat on the back. You can rock side to side. And we'll move through just a few postures to cool down. Let's take the right shin on top of the left thigh. We'll give some love to our hips, flexing in that top foot. Now you can press the right thigh away with the right palm, or you can interlace the fingers behind the left leg. Behind the thighs a little easier. If you want to go deeper, you can take the hands along the front of the shin. And then flex the top foot so that we're wrapping the kneecap. And then really concentrating on the breath. Soaking that steam into the joint, breathing through the right hip. See if you can make the texture of the breath really smooth, steady and even, soft, round. Let's take two more on this side. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly switch sides. Taking that left shin on top of the right thigh, just giving some love to the hips. So you can keep the face soft, maybe a hint of a smile, lifting the corners of the mouth. Relaxing the scalp. And then flexing in that top foot. Nice deep breath. You're really soaking that steam into the joint. Take two more. Three, four, and then five. Slowly release, squeeze the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. You can roll out the ankles if that feels good. And give just a little love to the legs before we cool down and rest. Let the feet fall on the mat, about hips width apart. Take the right leg straight up. This is one of the safest hamstring stretches. Catch the back of the thigh, interlace the fingers just below the kneecap. Now you can keep the left leg bent to take the pressure off the back, or you can extend the left leg forward. If you wanna go deeper, if you wanna strengthen your core, at the same time, you can lift your head off the floor, chin to shin or nose to knee, and then really soaking and saturating that right leg with those deep, soulful breaths, breathing with sound with feeling, three, two, and then one. Switching sides, left leg goes up, flexing in that top foot, interlace the fingers, you can rest the head on the floor, or if you wanna strengthen the core, chin to shin, nose to knee, nice deep breath, really soaking all that good energy, all that prana into the left leg. When you give a lot of love to your legs, it creates a legacy of love. Oh my God. Big sound, big feeling. And then exhale when you're ready, slowly let it fall. Draw the knees into the chest, hang the legs toward the right. Easy twist, let the left arm roll open toward the left. See if you can slide the shoulders away from the ears. So I like to imagine the shoulder blades are like weapons, right? So when we slide the shoulder blades down the back, we're putting all our weapons away and we're pointing the sharp edge of the blade back in so that we're using the breath to carve a path through the mind, back into the heart, back into that open space shining in the center. 
drawing all that energy back in. Feel how that gives the body permission to exhale, empty, vent, and release all the tension on the surface. Let's take one more. And then come back to center, squeeze the knees, give yourself a big hug. Exhale, turn and switch sides, falling into that easy twist. Shoulders down. Right, the higher the knees, the deeper the twist. So if you want a deep twist, if it feels good for your spine, you can take the knees all the way up towards your ribs. And then big wave, washing through the rib cage, carving a path back into the center so that we can clear all that debris on the surface, clearing out the clutter inside the head. See if you can make the sound of your breath louder than the chatter of the thinking mind. That's when the magic starts to happen, when the mind gets more thin, clear, transparent, open, spacious. So we can start to feel that light shining inside. Let's take one more. And then when you're ready, come back to center. Squeeze the knees, lie flat, and rest. Just take a moment to pause here. You can rest here for as long as you like. If there's any final finishing postures you want to practice in your own time, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, you can lie back, relax, and just feel how in 30 minutes, we can realign the mind, dropping back in, feeling that light shine a little brighter through all the surfaces, exhaling, dropping deeper and deeper into that space of bliss. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.